Welcome back to Mega Man 11, everybody on Nintendo Capri Stone, and I'm just talking like a crazy person, I don't even know. Oh, what kind of new upgrades we got in here anyway? Recharges all weapon gauges when you pick up a weapon capsule. That's not bad. Basically, I guess that means it, like, divides it evenly among all of them. I mean, I'm sure, surely it doesn't, like, put ten bars back on all of them. But, whatever it is is better than what I was doing before, probably. So, how many lives do I actually have? I have three? It's so Probably all I'm gonna need. I'll just get one more. Uh, yep. Oh, uh, wait, I didn't have any energy tanks, though. Oh, two. Okay, uh, well. I'm just not gonna buy anything, I think. We're gonna start Fuse Man. So, here we go. Do 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 ba ba boom. You like Man 4.0 at this point, but whatever. Another cool looking stage, though. You know what I haven't been doing? Going to the left. Who knows? There may be one of these stages. So watch out for this burning surface right here. That'll hurt too. Obviously, you probably don't need me to tell you that, but I just thought it bared repeating because I fell for it the first time. Don't even bother picking up that either. At least I wouldn't. I don't think it's worth it. Kind of stuck in between two vaults, <laughs> two uh, hiccups here. Stuck between a hiccup and a vault of electricity. Which would you rather have? I think I'd rather take the vault. Oh, my bad. Or else I'm gonna put more vaults on the zap. <laughs> okay, so anytime there's something shooting electricity and it comes into contact with one of these little doohickeys here, it actually spouts electricity. But if you have bouncing ball, you can just destroy them. That's pretty cool. Here's another case of bouncing ball being useful here. There's just so many times when it's useful, you would not believe. Like, maybe even here, but... Eh, it's, uh, <laughs> I can't help but be, you know, a little bit like, uh, I want to do some of the Mega Buster too, Even though, whatever. Oh my god, this guy's getting on my nerves! Out of here. Oh, we got drones again. You know, I was watching some streamer the other the other day was playing this and doing nothing but complaining the whole time about the game. And like he got the drone enemy showed up and he's like, oh my god, what just because drones are a thing these days we have to have a drone enemy? I'm like, uh But it's like, hasn't it hasn't it kinda always been that way? Like what about Tomahawk, man? What it's just a coincidence that he came out the same year that the Braves won the World Series? Actually, I don't even remember if they won that year, but I think I brought that up like one too many times at this point. Gotcha. Ooh, let me skip that one. Yeah, so this stage is more or less mostly about just maneuvering around obstacles, moving obstacles more often than not. But but it's my favorite kind of stage, really. I don't know if I would say it's my favorite stage in this game. Don't think that might be Impact Man, but but um, but it's fun. I mean, they get the job done here. Oop! You just gotta watch yourself. I mean, once you've done it a couple of times, you kind of get a feel for the routine a bit. That right there looks really cool too. I remember the first time I saw that. Being, whoa! <laughs> just one of those moments that you go like, whoa! Like Keanu Reeves, you know? Bloop! Right, what mini boss we got here? Aha! So, um, what? I was gonna say, I know you're vulnerable, but that, those, those seem to just bounce right off of it. Booyah! Yeah, these mini bosses are so much worse than they look. When I mean, you watch somebody fight the mini boss with their weakness, it seems like, oh, that was easy. You just killed that guy in no time at all. But. But if you try fighting one of those with a Mega Buster, you will get your ass handed to you so fast it's not even funny. There we go. Gotta watch for the bats, watch for the bats. Yeah, for the longest time, I didn't know that you could destroy these things. It surprised me when I found out that you could. It sure as hell makes it a lot easier. A lot easier to get through these rooms. But... 
Being able to shoot diagonally is nice too. I should probably pick those up, shouldn't I? Because you can always just rush coil after this block here. Oops. As I said, rush coil after this block. You know, this guy's just low enough here that I can't hit it without charging up my buster. Okay, so these guys, I don't know if they're like what they have for a weakness. I'm sure there's something. For the time being, I'd usually just mega buster them. Just don't try to slide under them because they'll definitely fall and squish you. They probably won't kill you, but then again, it depends on how much energy you have. And I don't know how much you have right now as you're playing this, so. Oops. You can actually kind of speed run through this and beat these beams before they materialize, but. I've only done it once, and that was pretty much by accident, so... So Fuse Man, let me say, this is the, exactly the kind of Robot Master where you come into the room, you see his attack pattern, and you think, how in the world am I going to fight that? Like, how in the world? So just take a look at this for a second. I won't use his weakness just yet. Oh. Okay, this is we're near as bad as I remember. But when he goes into overdrive, that's when it gets crazy. Yeah, like, what do you even do there? <laughs> you might think to yourself. However, that is one of the reasons why balls are a thing. Now, proceed to watch me turn the tables here, if you don't mind. Mine as well, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, even even with that though, I still took quite a bit of damage there. It'll be very interested to see somebody do that buster only no damage, because I'm sure eventually somebody will. Like that's the way these things are designed. They're designed so that somebody can do that. So that there is a way to do it. There's never not a way to do it, at least as far as I know. The closest I've ever been to being convinced that there was no way to beat a Robot Master without taking damage was Fireman in Mega Man 1. Until eventually I discovered one day that, well, <laughs> there was something to him. So this is one of the few Mega weapons in a Mega Man game that you can actually shoot up. Like so. Otherwise you're going to shoot it down pretty much automatically. If you jump and shoot, it shoots it down as well. So not exactly the best weapon for taking out something right in front of you. But, um... Oh, super mode, yeah. This makes bigger balls, pretty much all. Or you can do it down here. You just do it over and over again. Mm -hmm. I can do this all day, you know? Okay, anyway. This is gonna end up being a really short episode already, I can tell. Oh, Tundra Man, though. You know what? I think I might jump in and buy a couple extra lives here. Because the end of this stage is probably... Honestly, probably one of the worst parts of the entire game. So, and we'll see it pretty soon here. Chandra Man, go! The rest of the stage, it's not that bad. Honestly, it's... It is what it is, we'll see. TV. Do we have snowflakes? Duh. I mean, I guess you can kind of tell what those are. Um, oh, there I go. See, and that, that happens all the time. All the time that happens. My thumb just rubs up against that joystick and stuff comes out. It's really nasty. Hell yeah. So we're basically stocked up with weapons at this point. You can basically use anything you want against anything you want. And even just the ways that I've shown to beat, make, uh, to beat mini bosses in these stages, there are, are not all the ways to do it. There are other ways. Freeze! I can exactly jump over you, so I almost had to do that. Of course, if you want to, you just take damage deliberately. See, okay, now, um, 
Oh, I don't have his weapon yet, do I? Shoot. That's okay, because I have blocks. <laughs> blocks are always good. Almost always. Even here. Ah! <laughs> Three for the price of one. Okay, so we have a little bit of wind going on here. But, uh, since it's blowing from behind us, we definitely don't mind that. That's always a good thing. A couple of wards if you manage to stay on the top of the screen. You can go for that if you want. I don't recommend it unless you have the weapon that allows you to just... Wait, this one. Then you can just grab it. Otherwise, you're gonna hit your head on the ceiling and land right on those spikes. And that's not a fun time. Even Sans would say that's not a fun time. Um, screw this room. Use a brush coil. This is the room where, like, if you're doing score attack, you just probably, like, want to go back and forth with this guy at the end here. Because you, like, power drill through the bunny and then power drill him just afterward. It'll one-shot both of them. And he's worth 300 points, but you'll get a times three bonus for killing him right after a different enemy. So you get 900 every time you hit him. So you still in and out and respawning him to get a bunch of points that way. Yeah, I want those. I want those. I want those. I want those. Uh, you can press L and R to, um... Oh shoot, he knocked me into the door! I didn't... Oh man, oh, I didn't want that to happen. Anyway, this guy's really easy. Thunder, 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 thunder. Thunder, he's gone. Otherwise, he's actually pretty tedious, so... Once again, if you want to see his attack pattern, play the game yourself. <laughs> and fail, like I did a hundred times before I figured that out. It's always so gratifying, though, when you do figure it out and he just explodes. The explosions look so cool in this game. Well, there I just did it again. Oh, and of course I had to do that right before the wind started blowing. The wind, you know. Boop. Alright. Oh, I think you can actually beat this guy to the punch without, like, sliding under him. Or by sliding under him, not without. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this seems like a really nerve-wracking jump, but here's what I do. I just slide and let myself fall onto the platform, and then be ready to jump right when you land on that platform to the next one, so like this. It's really simple. It looks so much worse than it is. And then, ooh, nice. Boom. Ooh, this is another room that kind of sucks if you don't have the appropriate, well, you could do this, I guess. Protect yourself from them. I believe the acid shield is time-based, not like based on how many enemies touch you. I might be wrong about that. Oh no, actually. Let's remember that ladder. Oh, that ladder was just going to the previous room. Okay, so as I said, the rest of the level's easy, but then there's this part. See, this part sucks. Um, you're so liable to hit your head on the ceiling in one of these jumps and just come crashing down. And then, right here, you have to do like a slide followed by a jump. But. I mean, I guess the best way to do it is, like, slide and then do this, maybe? Well, that's not what I was trying to do, but it worked. Now we're stuck on the bottom. Fortunately, they, like, removed the ceiling for the last part of, you know, so that you don't hit your head on when you're trying to jump. But it's just so... ugh. I guess if you get stuck on the bottom, it's not so bad. So I can't, I can't believe I did that without dying, because I cannot tell you how many times I've died there. Or, like, you go into score attack. And you'll get all the way through the stage with a really great score, and then you die there, and you don't even get to keep your score, and you have to start over. It's so annoying. Okay, so... Should we let this guy dance, or should we just be a dick? He has a number of different attacks, like there's one where he jumps three times here. There's one where he jumps two-thirds across the screen, and then one-third the rest of the way. Now he's gonna start going super fast here, so... 
Is that it? Wait, wait, oh, oh, I'm out of thunder, jeez. Oh, okay, fine. Let's see this the normal way, then. Never mind. Boom! Headshot! <laughs> that actually went by kind of fast. I might want to go ahead and do the last stage in this video. I think I probably should. Because it wouldn't make sense to stop with one Robot Master left. The thing is, there's going to be a cutscene after that, though. It's going to take up time. But if I do just one stage in a cutscene, that's going to be like an eight-minute video, so that's not going to work either. I mean, I'm already worried about these being too short as it is, so we should go ahead and do it. Nerd Gear. I think I missed a Nerd Gear somewhere. Thunderstorm. Yeah, so this is basically... It's kind of like Storm Eagle's weapon, almost. Like the powered-up version of it. And if you power up, like, with a gear into it, it's just basically a screen wipe. Or a butt wipe, as it were. Either way it works, let's get on, let's get on with this. Torch Man. This stage is really cool. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's actually super cool. And blocks are your best friend here, so let me tell you. <laughs> as they often are. I've done this stage enough times, though, to kind of know what the deal is. Or what you want to do. Two, two. You no, know, usually I like to fall down straight and hit him there, but oh well. <laughs> it's amazing how you kind of develop routines of what you like to do to get through a stage. Oop. There we go. Oh man. I'm gonna wait for another cycle of your butt. So if you have. So you can knock this guy back if you want, all the way into a pit back there. Or you can just turn on your. Uh, and do that instead. Speaking of wind, here's something else cool you can do with it. Oh. Okay, see, the fire hits you, it insta-kills you, so don't let that happen. If I hadn't been stunned there, I would have been able to show that to you, but... Uh, freaking Gordos. What do you expect, man? Let's show up when you're least expecting it. So you get down here and kill him like this, and then that way you have room to jump over this guy, and from the back. Get the rabbit. So right here you can just fall to these stumps that are ahead of the other ones. You don't have to jump to them, so. Oh, I'm gonna switch back to this so I can kill that Gordo before I do this. So here's the deal, right? You can freeze the wall. You can freeze the wall. Yes, you can freeze the wall. I'm not kidding. Wait a minute. Whoa! whoa. Oh, what? I thought I found a hidden passage there. I was like inside of the wall. That looked weird. Oh, are we back where we were? I'm not sure if I got past that point yet. I think that was the wall down there that I somehow wound up in the middle of. Yeah, so nothing under any of these, any of these tents, so if you want to see it again, there it is. You don't have to do a full screen wipe for that, you can just be close enough to it. And you get the freeze. Okay, you really probably don't want to kill those because then you lose your light by doing so. Oh, uh, I'm trying to get in a spot where I can kill these bugs without... Okay, fine, whatever. Um, if you go left, you can actually light up with the torch. Or, light up with the torch, really? Um, you can light up the level with your fuse weapon. That actually can be semi-useful. Uh, this is where the block is probably coming a little handy here. Boom. Okay, now, whatever you do, don't try to take the lower path here. Just don't do it. Don't even bother. I've died so many times trying to go that way, and it's just, like, there's nothing even down there. Besides whatever there was there, which I've already forgotten, because I don't care. Okay, acid. Acid on this guy. It's just like that. Just that easy. It is so ridiculous how good that is. At least in that situation. Maybe not overall in the game, but in that situation, damn, it's good. Nope, here we go again. Alright, we'll have to keep that on for too long here. Whoa, 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 take it. Jeez. The fire won't start until you get past a certain point. Why does that keep... 
don't know why I keep using block. I, I must be pressing ZR by accident. I mean, ugh. It's really annoying. I think if I had the Joy-Cons actually attached to the to the Switch, that wouldn't be happening. But as it is, I'm just kind of holding them loosely in my hands. So I have to, like, keep this firm grip on them so that I'm actually have control of what I'm doing, but in the process, pressing buttons that I don't mean to. Boom, boom. Make sure you hit this one up here. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll do this instead because we just made a boo-boo here. Again. I'll tell you how many times I've done that. That jump right there that I just did. So many things can go wrong with that jump. You can hit your head on the ceiling for one thing. Even if you don't, you might just jump too high and then, like, not make it to the platform for some other reason that I can't really find the way to explain that in my head right now. It's just, you know it when it happens, and there's no, really no way to explain it. No good way. So apparently we have a fiery mushroom factory here. I'm just gonna use Rush Jet, say to hell with it. Uh, again with the whole, why do you want to take the bottom path? Although maybe you do in this room. So watch out for the knockback, is the thing. Oh, and now we're dark again, so... Fuse, where are you, buddy? So I keep, like, pressing down to make it shoot down, even though I don't need to. Yeah, shoot out these bugs, man. I don't think electricity is good against bug types, but... Eh, whatever. Ooh. Blocks again, although we're a little too far to the left there for that. Also, you hit that guy from the top. Makes that a lot easier. So this is the last section of fire here. So you might actually want to, uh... Do that. Shit, um... Ooh, this guy's had a huge explosion. Shit, I'm dead. Nothing I can do there. I hate those mushrooms. Those explode. What? I'm all the way back here? Really? Oh my god, the checkpoints can be so cruel sometimes. This is back before the second fire section. Okay, well, here it goes again. Dun -dun -dun. Go blow that one up, blow that one up. Freeze the wall. Slide, slide. Rush coil. There we go. Sometimes it's all about just finding your little routine there. Oh, uh, we're gonna knock this guy back. Okay, I'm gonna use the thing here, just to kind of get ahead a little bit. I'm gonna take the hit here, because I don't even give a rat's butt about that. Yeah, we had plenty of extra time there. This is that last Gordo, though, man. You don't know. Okay, do I have enough to actually fight this guy? I want to take a look at his pattern a little bit first here, just to see what I'm going to be doing here. Because from what little bit I remember, this guy's kind of fast. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to forget about that. See, that's the thing. Like, he has these, throws out these fireballs, but they negate your charge shots, so... Whoa, I want to slide away from that if you can. Yep, ooh, if he gets you with it, well, what are you going to do, really, right? He's just, like, doing the same thing over and over again here, how about that? I guess that's all he has for... Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm actually going to... I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go ahead and use it. Okay, so here we go, screen wipe. Green white, and done. Boom. Hell yeah. If I had the space, I'd kick my feet in the air, but I don't have that much space in here right now. <laughs> it is a little annoying sometimes, but hey, you do what you can, right? <laughs> I'm not even beatboxing to anything. Just, <laughs> Nice head. That looks like something I've seen before, though. We've got a new weapon, Blazing Column. Let's try it. This weapon's kind of weird. It's kind of cool, though, too. 
It's a very weird pattern. It flies up, comes back down. When it's powered up, though, it does this. Like, holy shit. <laughs> this was the first time that that I used a weapon not realizing I was in gear mode, super gear mode or whatever. And thought that that was just the normal attack and was like, oh my god, what is the super gonna be like? Come to find out that was the super. It's quite useful though, and this turns out to be the weakness of Blast Man, who if you remember the way that fight went, or all however many times I died to that. You can see how this weapon would have helped a lot in that fight, so Blast Man's weakness is Torch Man. And there you have it. Comes full circle. Auto. Do you have any idea where Wily's gone to? Ugh, he's totally vanished, Mega Buddy. Maybe he decided to turn tail and run. Huh? That was the dog. What is it, Otto? Uh, there's someone hijacking our signal. C could it be? Indeed, it could. Martinez neither runs nor hides! Wily! Light! Then you, Mega Man! How dare you use my double gear system! Now you've crossed the line, I'll turn you into scrap myself! I'm at point E1685578! Come to my gear fortress, I'll be waiting for you! Gear Fortress? That's all we needed. I'm heading out, Dr. Light. Mm. It's time to finish this. Good luck, Mega Man. It's up to you to stop Dr. Wily. Yes, sir. You can do it, Mega Man! Mega, be careful out there. Okay. I can't get used to them calling him Mega. It's just weird. It's like, are there any other characters who have an adjective and a noun for a name where they call the character just the adjective? Because I'm trying to think of one. I'm trying to think of an example that would demonstrate my point. Like Wild Bill, you know, if somebody just called him Wild, it would feel like there was something missing there, I don't know. If it was like Wild Bill in the chat room and you called him Wild, I could see that. Because he's shortening their name, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Um, okay. Well, at any rate, next time on Mega Man 11, we will be taking on the Dr. Wily stages. Oh, man. Can't believe we're to that point already, y'all, but holy jeez, here we are. <laughs>